Hi all, welcome back to Whoops with C++ session 25. Uh, before going to today's session, uh, it is it will be good if you refresh on the topics w which we have discussed in session 9, that is scope resolution operator and uh, session 12, uh, that is functions and arguments and session 13. Okay, go through session 9, 12 and 13 if possible, just refresh it. Okay, so I, I am pasting the um, links in the description. Okay, so in today's session, what we will do is we will see the class and object creation syntax and its explanation. Along with that, we also discuss about access specifiers of the class. Okay, now let's see how to create the syntax, uh, how to design the class. Okay. So here, okay, so what you have to do is first you have to create a class, class name. So here class keyword is required, class name is required, open braces, then access specifier, uh, provide the data member as well as function members. We have already discussed a class should uh, can consist of data members as well as function members or we can say methods also. Okay, so data member like integer, data type you have to mention and variable name. So data type means like integer, character, float, string. Okay, all these are data types and here variable one, variable two, whatever variable name you want, you can give that. And functions also we can have function members. When we say functions, so this function should have the definition, but uh, we have a uh, flexibility either to give the function definition either inside the class or outside the class. So here uh, that's why I have taken two functions here for function name one I have given the function definition inside the class for function name two I have given the function definition outside the class. When we are giving the function definition outside the class what you have to do is you have to place a scope resolution operator before the function name and then class name so then compiler what it will do is if you have not given this class name and scope resolution then compiler will think that this is a global function and we are giving definition for that but it is not a global function but where it is present <coughs> it is present inside the class so that's the reason we have to say this function name too is not belongs to uh, the global scope but it is belongs to this class name scope okay so we have to give and the same syntax you have to follow here whatever prototype declaration you have given same declaration okay so either you can give the function definition of the class of the um, function definition inside the class or outside the class but generally what is advised is give the function uh, de uh, definition outside the class not inside the class okay now Another thing is there that is access specifier. Okay, what are the access specifiers present in C++? That is, we have three different types of access specifiers. That is, private, protected, and public. Okay, now, what is this access specifier? What do you mean by access specifiers? Okay, as I said access of the name itself is saying the some it is related to something accessing okay now access specifier specifies how the members of the class should be accessible outside or we can say access specifier specifies the access specification of class members means you have a data members as well as function members how the members has to be uh, given permission whether these members has to be accessible or cannot be accessible so what type of permissions you have to give whether it is a secured information or anybody can access that type of permissions access restrictions will be controlled by using access specifiers and in c++ as i mentioned we have three different access specifiers that is private public and protected then the name itself indicating uh, indicating that it is private means it's a private property then access restrictions will be there so public public means 
public accessibility accessibility will be there the name itself is selling private and public property so for example private property i can say the mobile mobile is my private property okay so i cannot give this uh, mobile to anybody else okay and public you have a, a telephone booths so uh, where you can have may any person can go and utilize that uh, public uh, services and also you can have a public transport so it is accessible for everybody okay of course you have to pay the amount for that to use the services okay now how can i define private public and protected access specifiers private access specifiers the members declared under private access specifiers can be directly accessible inside the class see here can be directly accessible inside the class if you assume house your home is a class the mobile whatever we have that can be accessible by our family members only those who are present inside your home only they can access but cannot be directly accessible outside the class okay now next uh, is public property what is this public access specifier okay so public access specifiers says the members present under public access specifiers can be accessed within the class as well as outside the class so anybody can access whether inside the class members also can access or outside also you can access you don't have any uh, issues while accessing that but whereas private members it is strictly prohibited to access outside the class it is fully restricted okay now third one is their protected access specifier so till inheritance private and protected will behave in the same way so that is the reason what i'm going to do is from starting from today till we reach to inheritance i will be using only private and public two access specifiers there is one significant difference between private and protected when we reach to inheritance we will discuss that time what is the key difference of private and protected access specifiers okay so uh, <coughs> let's take one uh, class example when we are designing we will get some uh, uml notations or something uh, this is a class diagram okay so this is a class diagram uh, in uml notation so here it is a class name that is c employee c i am just using to indicate that this is a class okay c employee and here minus indicates private members plus indicates public members emp id of type integer emp name of character type character array 12 set details function is there of cons it is taking two arguments name and id and name is constant character star id is of type integer and this set details function is going to return void and display is the function which is not taking any arguments and which is returning void okay now for this you have a uml notation for this we have to design the class okay now let's design the class so class use the class keyword what is the class name c employee and here uh, which one to give either public members i have to give first or private members that's completely depends on your organization or wherever you are developing the project or that's completely depends on how you are using the syntax either you give public here or private that doesn't matter uh, whether public members you are writing first or private members that's completely coding standards followed by your organization so what i'm going to do is i am going to use public members first are the end private members okay so what are the public members present that is set details and display so wide set details constant character star and int so i'm giving the prototype declaration for this means i am going to give definition for this set details outside the class and next the display wide display i'm giving the definition for display here see out employee id the employee name so next i am giving i have the private members here in emp id character m emp name so uh, for 12 so this employee array uh, emp name character array which is having 12 bytes so this declaration is completed yes now we are left out with set details 
definition uh, so now prototype is there now for this what we have to do is same prototype you have to take here wide set details but before set details you have to sorry <coughs> you have to place scope resolution as well as the class name see employee and also i am using string copy emp name name emp id equals to id okay so this name whatever you are sending that name will be copied to emp name and id will be copied to emp id so in today's session don't think about any logical or error handling things just see how to define a declare a class how to give the definition of a class inside the definition of the function inside a class and outside the class now class design is completed the next thing is we have to create object in the main function okay so now let's have a main function inside this main function i am creating two objects of class c employee with emp1 and emp2 and i'm setting details for emp1 see it is set details is not a global function okay so it is present inside the class this is declared inside the class i have to access this how can i access the members of a class you can access it by using dot operator as well as the object of the same class emp1 dot set details i'm passing richie and 101 emp2 dot set details i am passing store stuff or not to and i am displaying another i am invoking another member function that is emp1 dot display emp2 dot display so what it has to do this display has to print richie and 101 and emp2 dot display has to display store stop and <coughs> 102 okay now if you observe here i am using c out emp1 dot emp id that is employee id where it is present but it is present under private access specifier okay since it is a private present under private access specifier the compiler will throw an error saying that it is a private member you cannot do this operation access restriction is there okay now let's see programmatically how to do this i just see how it will what error we will get okay <coughs> okay i have taken the same class see here class i am using c string if you observe i am using c string including c string because i am using string copy function here strcpy to copy one string to another string okay so for this we are using c string you have to include okay otherwise strcpy won't work so same thing set underscore details i have given uh, the prototype declaration here so display uh, it is displaying employee name and employee id and we have private access specifier here i am declaring employee id and employee name so for set underscore details we are giving the definition outside the class and this employee main c employee employee one employee two set details rigi 101 employee two set details throw stop 102 display display and also i am trying to access the members directly here okay so first i will come just commented it first we'll compile It's compiling successfully okay see and it's giving proper output also okay now what i will do is i am going to access the private members directly okay so not like this okay so if i am giving like this emp name or emp id what it will do it is saying emp name was not declared emp id was not declared so why it is saying like that it is not declared i have declared right inside the class but to access the members of a class what we required we required object of that class and dot operator so here also object of that class and dot operator now i will compile now see you we are getting different error so what is that error we are saying it cannot be used it is a private member 
okay emp id is a private member so even emp name is a private member you cannot access it it is error okay so if it is present under public spe access specifier say now what i will do is i am commenting so when i comment what is happening even this employee id employee name both will be under public section only so now we'll see whether it will compile or it will throw error it's compiled so richie 101 stop 102 so same richie 101 only coming okay but if it is present under private you cannot access this is what i was telling you can access the private members in the outside the class uh, cannot access outside the class public members can be accessible if you want to access the private members of a class then what you have to do is you have to make use of public methods of the function of the class by using the public direct access is not possible but indirect access is there uh, how you, uh, indirect access you can use the make use of public members to access private members of your class either it may be data members or function members okay so generally what we'll do is we will write uh, data members and private section and uh, functions or methods under public section okay there will be a scenarios where you will be writing uh, the methods or functions also under private section okay so the uh, behavior is if it is a private you cannot directly access outside the class but within the class you can have accessibility but if it is a public either inside the class or outside the class you can have the access okay now i am compiling i have commented it okay this is about the program okay so that's for today just have a, an assignment quickly so that is what are the different access specifiers a class can have and why access specifiers are required okay and what is the difference between private and public access specifier so and also if i want to access or how can we access private members of a class outside the class we cannot access directly but if i want to access what is the way you can access the private members so that's for today <coughs> thanks for watching